Hey there. So today we're going to talk about how to regenerate the glove box. Regenerating the glove box is really important because it regenerates the catalyst, scrubbing any oxygen and water off them, and means that it will keep our glove box under a nice and an atmosphere for a long time. Okay, so to do this, we need to first go to the panel and turn off the circulation purifier. That'll give us options to start regenerating the glove box. Over here, we have our gases and we have our nitrogen gas and we have our regeneration gas. The nitrogen gas is 4.8, so it's very pure nitrogen. And the regeneration gas is what's known as H5N, which is 5% hydrogen in nitrogen. And that hydrogen helps clean off the oxygen and the water and regenerate the catalyst. Okay, um, in the regeneration cylinder, we want to have a decent amount of pressure left in there. The regeneration always takes about 1,000, so we have about 1,500 in here, which will be plenty. Um, and on this side, it should normally read between 2 and 3 PSI, and indeed it reads just a little bit over 3, which will be fine. Normally you won't need to touch any of this, but just make sure that this knob here is open, which it is, good. And that's our regeneration gas connected. Over here on the nitrogen gas, we have a similar thing. We want to make sure there's plenty of nitrogen in the cylinder. This one's very full, we just changed it, so that looks good. And we should have our normal 80 PSI and everything should be open, which it is. Great, okay, so we've got nitrogen gas that the glove box has got access to, and we've got our regeneration gas, which the glove box has access to. So now we're ready to actually regenerate. So for this, we're in this mode. We now have the option to regenerate. It says regeneration purifier. We click that, and it says alarm. What you should see now, if you look down here to the flow meter, you should see that the little black ball is flown up. So that tells us there's plenty of regeneration gas flowing through. Should be about 15 to 20 milliliters per minute, and it's just a little bit over 20, so that'll be fine. So that's great, regeneration gas is flowing, and that's very important because we don't want the box to suddenly run out of nitrogen or regeneration gas in the middle of the night. So yeah, and it's raising a little alarm when we've done that. And when you click the alarm, it says, proof flow generation regeneration gas. Okay, so have we got regeneration gas flowing? Yes, we have, we just checked. Great, so we can acknowledge that here. Here we go. Okay, let's go back to the main screen. I think we can do it from there as well. Yes, we can. Okay, so if we go back to here, it says proof flow, proof flow of regeneration gas. Yes, we've done that. So if we click yes, then the regeneration will initiate. And you can see that here because the bit that represents the, um, the catalyst in the back has started to have a different symbol on it, and it's uh, sort of turned to yellow and red. So that shows that regeneration is in action. If we click that, It also will say uh, step three. So that shows that the regeneration is happening. You can also show it's regenerating there. And then finally, if we go to parameters and we go to status, it will show you um, the remaining regeneration time. So here we have below the time since we last did regeneration. That was when we last did it. And now it's showing the time left in the box. So it says about 960 minutes, which is a good 12 to 16 hours. It does vary a little bit. Um, so normally we run the regeneration at the end of the day because otherwise no one can use it for 24 hours. And that's kind of it. I would recommend leaving it on this screen so that people know that the regeneration is happening and they don't start using it in the morning. And then finally, it's good to put that the box is out of order because you're regenerating it so no one can use it. And I will just briefly turn the light off again. And then I'll go back to leaving it on that screen that I showed before. No, not that one. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Great, and we'll leave it on that screen so people don't accidentally start using it when it's regenerating. And that's it. Um, let's hope it's all going well in the morning and we'll have a look then. See you tomorrow. So it is now morning and we can see that the remaining regeneration time has reached zero and the time since last regeneration was three hours, so that means it finished about three hours ago. And that's great, that means everything's back to normal. So uh, we can go and press end here. We can go back to functions, we see everything's green again, good sign that the regeneration passed, and the circulation purifier is automatically turned back on, which is what we want, so the box is now circulating and keeping the atmosphere nice and clean. And that's it, we've successfully regenerated the glove box, and we can also see that we've lost some regeneration gas there, which is another sign that everything's gone well. So that's it, we managed to regenerate the glove box, and we want to do this uh, periodically, probably every three to six months, but also with regular checks to make sure that the atmosphere is nice and inert. Wonderful, thank you so much.